Hi, I'm Banaz Balbazada. I was born in Afghanistan, and when I was a little girl, we came here to the Montgomery County area of Maryland. I'm the head of user experience at Oracle Data Cloud. The thing that I love about Oracle Data Cloud and um, our culture here are these hackathons that we host. It gives people an opportunity to learn something new, and it gives them the time and the resources to step out of their day-to-day -day and meet new people in the company. These ideas that team members, employees come up with turn into real product solutions. And these hackathons have um, really inspired me to want to do something on my own for Afghanistan. So I wanted to take all that I've learned, all, all of my experience and all of my skill set in organizing hackathons and take that to Afghanistan, to Kabul. And last year we kicked off the very first event with Angel Hack. Angel Hack is an organization from California and they have an amazing hackathon program that they provide globally. Most moving presentations that we saw from last year was a health app. The presenter, he had lost his father because there was a essentially a con artist who was posing as a doctor in his village. His father was misdiagnosed and unfortunately passed away. And so he wanted to create a health app that provided a directory of certified doctors, of credited doctors with reviews and access to booking appointments. So their app was really meaningful and um, had a really personal narrative. So this year I really wanted to get more women par to participate in the hackathon. And when I spoke with them, they told me that it was because our scheduling was from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And here in the States, we have 24 hour hackathons because security is not a big issue. Um, getting into a building is not a huge issue. But in Afghanistan, women have a curfew. They can't be outside once the sun sets um, without a chaperone. And so for this year, we, we created a three day program and uh, had it within business hours of nine to five. And that really enabled more women to participate. In Afghanistan, unfortunately, you won't see a woman selling in the market or having a business uh, with a shop because unfortunately there is harassment. It is still very looked down on and not very common. One of the interesting projects that we saw was for women, artisan women who create crafts and necklaces and throws and carpets for them to sell their goods online. So day one was organized around information. Day two was a working session and we had mentors from the startup community come through. And then day three was presentation day. And presentation day always tends to be a little hectic. And I got a no notification during final presentations that the city was under attack. There was several suicide bombers throughout the city in different places that um, had exploded bombs. And we fortunately were not affected by that, but it obviously affects security. It, it was really stressful and it was probably the most stressful moment that I've ever had on that trip. We've been at war in Afghanistan for longer than the Vietnam War at this point and it's really tragic and what that says to me is that there are so many young entrepreneurs, so many young people in Afghanistan who might feel that a lack of hope, a lack of uh, investment in their communities, in their city, in their country. Oracle is a proud sponsor um, of the event and I am you know, really blessed to have had such a great organization that backs me and backs my work uh, here in Afghanistan. And so Oracle has been really meaningful in, in, in getting this idea off the ground.